What is up you guys? Nick here with another video. Today I have a very exciting video to show you. Uh, some of you may be aware of this method already, but this is an internet sharing option that works on literally any Android phone. Um, it doesn't matter if you have Sprint, it doesn't matter if you have a Samsung phone, it doesn't matter if you have an LG phone, it doesn't matter. As long as you have an Android phone, this will work for you. Now the one caveat is this is not wireless hotspot sharing. In other words, this does not work to share the wireless connection with other devices wirelessly. You can't turn your phone into a Wi-Fi hotspot or a Wi-Fi router. Um, and it's a little bit involved to get set up, but as soon as you set it up, it does work. Um, again, it's not a wireless hotspot. Uh, you have to be connected via USB cable to the device to which you want to share your internet connection. It does work on Windows, it does work on Mac OS, it does work on Linux. Um, it supposedly works on Android, although I'm not certain that all and other Android devices are supported by this. Um, so you can't share the Wi-Fi connection, but you can share it via Bluetooth or USB. Um, there are a couple things you have to do to get started, or to get it set up. Um, so we're just going to go ahead and jump right in and get started with that. If you're not familiar with what's going on in this video, you might want to hold off on this and, uh, you know, ask questions down below in the comments before you start messing around with your phone settings or, or before, really before you pay for anything, because you can't really mess anything up using this. But, uh, you know, if you pay for it, then, and it's still not working, then I don't want you to be frustrated. So anyway, we're going to get started uh, with the prerequisites right now. Now the first thing you need to do is enable USB debugging and in order to do that you have to have developer options enabled on your phone. Now on every Android phone the way to enable developer options is to just tap on your build number a bunch of times until it says something like this down here. For me developer mode is already enabled so you know it's telling me developer mode is enabled. Now to get to your build number you open up settings, you go to about phone, you scroll to software information and then you just click on your build number until it says the same thing here. That is it for that. The next thing you want to do is open up settings again and scroll down to now you can see developer options. That used to not be there. About phone was at the very bottom but now we have developer options and then you want to scroll down until you get to the debugging section and under USB debugging you just want to turn this toggle on and it says you know it's just intended for development purposes only. There's a little bit of a warning here. You just click OK and that's it and swipe it away and that's it. We are ready to get started. So let's go ahead and proceed to the next step. Alright, so the next step is to download the Easy Tether Android APK. Uh, if you're not on Sprint, I think it's literally any carrier except for like Sprint, Metro PCS, Virgin Mobile and other carriers that use Sprint's network, you can download it from the Google Play Store. It's $10. I know it's a steep price, but we'll get to that in a minute. Um, but if you're on Sprint, Sprint actually blocks access to it on the Google Play Store. You can see it, but it says your carrier blocks this access. I'm not sure how Sprint is able to do that legally because it seems kind of shady to me to block access to an application just because you're on a certain carrier. Since Sprint doesn't develop the application, it's a little weird that they're able to block it, but Whatever it is what it is, you can still download it on the internet. So you can download Easy Tether Lite from the website, um, and that's the easiest way to do it, or you can just go ahead and buy it. Now, Easy Tether Lite is designed basically only for testing purposes to see if this application will work for you. Um, HTTPS is not enabled in Easy Tether Lite, which means that almost no website that exists today will work. You can't go to Google, you can't go to YouTube, you can't check your email, you can't do any of that. Uh, the website mobilestream.com, which is where you need to go to get this, and I'll post a link in the description, is not secure. It does not use HTTPS. Um, you don't exchange any information with them, so, you know, why? It, it doesn't really matter that it's not secure. Um, but, you know, it just means that traffic to and from this website can be intercepted by other people. Now, this is an easy way to check if this is working when you go on your computer to see is by just going to this mobilestream.com and, you know, it's not secure, so it will, it will load even with just the light version. So what you want to do is you want to hit, you know, download Easy Tether Lite and it instantly downloads and you just click open 
and then you would click install but I already have it installed and I've already paid for it and I don't want to mess that up so I will just go into my tools here and you can see easy tether is right here and you can see I have registered if you haven't paid for it it will be unregistered now let's talk about that price tag that ten dollar price tag is a little bit high I'll agree for something like this but you know what to get the hotspot service from Sprint at least it's at least twenty dollars a month and you only get two gigabytes to share with this you get unlimited completely unlimited and it does not use your hotspot data it uses the data that's already available on your phone uh, just like any other application would and then it routes that data through your USB cable into your computer so that you can surf on there okay so what you want to do once you have installed and opened this application is click on the USB setup wizard and you if you're using Windows then you know do the Windows setup or Mac or whatever whatever you use I'm going to click Windows because that's what I'm doing here and then you can download the Easy Tether computer side package using your phone if your computer is not connected to the internet meaning say you're at home you're surfing and you know your internet goes down and uh, you have no way to access it and you're googling and you found my video or you found this website well if you have data which I'll go ahead and disable my Wi-Fi there you can see I've switched to LTE and I really don't get very good signal where I live but uh, you can download the Easy Tether computer side package to your phone and then you can copy it to your computer so I've already downloaded it to my computer and it's very easy to copy it you know you just connect your phone it'll prompt you you tell it yes that you want to allow your computer to access your data and then you drag and drop the file onto your computer so we're gonna go ahead and hit next here and then you want to make sure your phone is not connected to your computer and hit the next screen so now it's saying install the easy tether computer side software on your computer and actually I'm gonna take a break from recording on my phone and I'm gonna switch over to my computer to show you guys what that process looks like alright so you can see I'm on my computer screen now and you can see I have the easy tether executable downloaded right here I didn't copy it from my phone because I actually do have internet access but I've unplugged that internet adapter now just to show you that this can all be done offline as far as your computer is concerned. So we'll go ahead and open this Easy Tether installation, click install. Yes, we want to allow it to make changes to our computer. No big deal. Um, processing, it's initializing. Now this takes a second and uh, I've considered pausing the video but you can see it's already almost finished so it took, you know, definitely less than a minute to complete the installation and now easy tether is ready to go as far as the computer side of things is concerned and so you can right click and you can see we have little options down here um, it says you know USB no devices to connect well that's because I you know just haven't connected any USB devices as of yet and that's not a big deal because we don't need to do that yet alright so then we're gonna switch back over to your phone and I'm not showing this on screen because it's not a big deal. You're going to open up Easy Tether again, and in that USB setup wizard, you're going to go ahead and click Next, and then click Next again, and then click Next again, and then click Finish. Okay, so then the thing you want to do is make sure that the USB Tether option is toggled. It's the very top option within the app. You just click on that and then plug your phone in. And you'll see, you know, it opens up my mass storage device options. But you'll see down here where it said, you know, there were no devices connected before. You can see USB, Android, and then my debugging certificate right there. And we will click Easy Tether Connected. Yay, all right. So now for some reason, on my computer at least, it's always telling me that I have no network access, which actually just isn't true. Let me pull up Firefox here. This will be a good one to pull up. All right. So then let's go ahead and go to Google, and you'll see Google loads. Now, it's going to be slow again because I do not have, uh-oh, it says it can't connect. Why is it telling me it can't connect? Well, let's just troubleshoot the problems and see. Oh, actually, I know exactly what it is. It is, uh, it's my VPN on my phone. So if I disconnect from that, which it, that's probably why it's been telling me this. All right, so let's try this again. There, there's Google. Okay, so Google loads perfectly now, and let's just go ahead and go to YouTube. And 
It's, you know, it's slow. Again, it's kind of slow. I have a fast computer here, but I do not have a very good internet connection. And so you can see I'm not signed in here, whatever, that's fine. We'll search just one of my videos here. Just searching for Nickel Gandhi. And it's taking its sweet time to load. And let me make sure that my desktop audio is muted. So we'll just upload this free Samsung Galaxy Hot, or we'll uh, load this free Samsung Galaxy Hotspot video. And, uh, you know, of course now I'm hearing the video playing in the background, but hopefully you guys are not uh, trying to hear me talking over myself. Um, so it's, you know, it's playing through just fine. And uh, it can stream it. And right now it's streaming only at 360p, but let's go ahead and take it up to 720p, say. And so there's a little bit of buffering, a little bit of weight. It's not as fast as my, you know, 250 megabit connection, but it's buffering it and it's loading it just fine. The video is playing through. You can see it's rebuffering. You can see I'm here now. And let's go ahead and take it up to 1080p and see, because this is sort of the ultimate test. Um, some people have higher resolution screens, but most of us don't have any higher than 1080p. And you can see it struggles a little bit to stay ahead of that buffer, but it's not doing a bad job. Um, so if you're in the city or in an area that gets better coverage, better signal strength, then you're definitely going to see faster speeds than I am right here at my house. Um, but, you know, if you're way out in the woods or something and you're trying to do this, it's still not going to be that fast, especially if you're only using 3G. However, your hotspot wouldn't be that fast either. And again, the big thing about this is that it works on every single Android device, not just Samsung phones, not just a certain Samsung phone running a certain uh, version of Android where you can do a certain exploit. This works on every single Android phone that you can enable USB debugging. Um, I think the minimum requirement is like Android 4.0 to make this work. So it, you know, it's... I don't think anybody uses a device with Android 4.0 on it anymore. So uh, I hope this video helps you guys out. I hope it doesn't go on too long. I tried to go into a pretty good amount of detail doing it. If you have problems or you have questions, don't hesitate to post them in the comments down below, and I myself or somebody else will try and answer them. And uh, give these guys your money, okay? I don't work for them at all, but uh, I think they've made a great, great application here. So this is the uh, this is the website mobile stream, and there's you know easy tether for Android, and they've been making applications like this for a long, long time, back uh, back from like the Palm Pilot type days. Um, so then uh, and and Windows Mobile, I think I actually used their program back when I had a Windows Mobile phone, and I'm I'm not 100% sure, but um yeah, so you try the demo before purchasing. Make sure you do that. Don't just go out and buy it and expect it to work. Try the demo. Make sure that you can load their website using the demo and then go ahead and purchase it if you want the full experience. So thank you guys very much for watching. Uh, don't forget to comment and subscribe and leave a like if this helped you and definitely subscribe because that's how you can stay up to date on these sorts of videos and these sorts of things that I'm doing as well as, you know, everything else that I upload to YouTube. Um, so, you know, that helps me out and don't don't hesitate to help these guys out either. Uh, pay them what they're due. And uh, I think that's it. I will see you guys in the next video.